Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, so still this side and today we are going to see about the triggers in the ADF pipeline. So what is the trigger and where we can use it? So basically it is used to execute the pipeline. So in the previous videos we have seen to execute the pipeline for the debug option. So in the debug option we can manually execute the pipeline. But in case of the trigger we can also execute the pipelines with manual option and we can also schedule the pipeline so that in a specific time period pipeline will be executing so a pipeline run in the azure data factory defines an instance of the pipeline execution next is the pipeline and triggers are having many to many relationship so what it mean so for example if we are having a trigger and a single pipeline so we can execute a single pipeline with multiple triggers so for example here we have trigger 1 trigger 2 and trigger 3 so all these three triggers can execute a single pipeline similarly if we are having these three pipeline and we want to execute by using a single trigger so that we can also do that so that option is available in case of the triggers so go to on the browser and we'll see in the practical so here we are if you have remember in the last videos we have created this pipeline that is copy data if you haven't watched the video of the copy data activity so i'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video so you can watch the video before going forward so here as you can see in the top side we are having this debug option so we have used this debug option multiple times this time we are going to use this add trigger so while we are going to click on this so here we can see have the option for the trigger now and new or edit so while we are going to click on the trigger now so this will be the manual operation and it will be going to execute only once so let me click on ok so this pipeline will be executing so as you can see it's running so now it's executed successfully so for checking this trigger we can go in the monitor tab and we have also discussed about the monitor tab so here inside the pipeline run here we can see the option for the triggered let me click on the triggered so we have just executed this pipeline so it is executed successfully in 10 seconds and here we can see the run start date and run end date so all the information are available for the trigger execution so this is the manual execution of the pipeline we are having the multiple options while going to add the triggers so let me go to the next slide and we'll see the types of the trigger so here we can see the three types of the triggers first is the schedule trigger second is the tumbling window trigger and third one is the event based trigger so these three types of triggers available inside the adf so while we're talking about the schedule trigger so a trigger that invoke the pipeline on the wall clock schedule so what it means so for example if we want to execute our pipeline on the daily basis at 6 o'clock in the morning so we can schedule that the trigger on that pipeline so it will be going to execute on the daily basis at 6 o'clock so that is the schedule trigger second is the tumbling window trigger so a trigger that operates on the periodic interval while also retain the state so the tumbling window trigger and schedule triggers almost the same but we are having some additional feature in the tumbling window trigger it can be executed on the periodic interval like every 24 hours we want to execute the trigger and it will be going to start at 6 o'clock in the morning so it will be going to execute on the daily basis and it also retain the state so if you haven't understand about this so don't worry i'll create a separate video for the schedule trigger and tumbling window trigger in the event based trigger so a trigger that responds to an event so for example if any file arrives on the blob storage or if any table is created or inserted the data so such type of events is happening then after we just want to execute the trigger so that option is also available under the event based trigger so go to on the browser and we'll see about the types of the triggers so here as we can see we have this option new or edit so either we can create the trigger from here or we can go in the minus tab and inside the minus tab here we can see the option for the triggers 
so we can also create the trigger from here so let me click on this create here we can specify the name of the trigger and after that we can see the type so first is the schedule trigger second is the tumbling window and after that storage event and custom event so the storage event and custom event is the type of event based trigger so in the next video we will see how we can create the scheduled based trigger so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video